What up all you guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about the night Tupac Shakur met Kobe Bryant. Yes, that's right, these two did meet. It was August 11th, 1996 at the House of Blues. Tupac Shakur was 25 years old, he was at the top of his game. He was the number one rapper. Tupac was wearing Versace shoes, Versace shirt. He was coming as a host on the House of Blues. There was a award given out to Melly Mel and other rappers like Outkast. Nas was also there, Allen Iverson was there. Apparently Floyd Mayweather was there, a bunch of people. It was an industry party. Kobe Bryant, before he joined the Lakers in August of 96, went up to Tupac. He went up to him and said, what's up, my name's Kobe Bryant. I might be joining NBA next season. I'm a rookie and I'm turning 18 years old. So Tupac was 25, Kobe Bryant was 18 years old, Pac was 7 years older than Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant was born in 1978, Tupac was born in 1971, so Tupac was an OG. Kobe Bryant loved Tupac's inspirational ways, he loved his motivational ways, he loved how Pac was so furious and competitive and how especially he was the best, he was number one. Kobe Bryant looked up to Pac. Basketball players look up to rappers and rappers looked up to ball players. It's just how it went in the hip hop community. Kobe Bryant, the brain of Kobe Bryant, was a prodigal son, still being developed. It was probably Kobe with the afro, went up to Pac, like, what's up, Mr. Shakur? I'm a fan. But Kobe Bryant, at the same time, was industry and he was going to be a legend himself. Could you guys believe that? Kobe Bryant, a young prodigy, met up with Tupac Shakur. Could you guys imagine both these guys in their prime? These guys got a brain like no other. It's almost alien-like, god-like. How these two are competitive champions and are the best at what they do. Tupac Shakur probably saw a little bit of enlightenment in Kobe Bryant and saw that he was the future, but probably nothing special because there was a bunch of NBA players that time and Kobe Bryant was not even in his first game as an LA Laker. He hadn't even been drafted yet. He would later get drafted in September. So remember, this is August 11th, 1996, House of Blues. Tupac Shakur wearing all Versace, Versace shoes, Versace shirt, chilling with his homeboys. He actually brought two outlaw members, but they were underage and couldn't even get in the place. Could you believe that? They were 18 turning 19. They couldn't get in, so Pac had to handle his security guard, $300. He passed him three bills, two hours of work, that's one fifty dollars per hour. Back then, it's probably two bills per hour, what it is now. Tupac Shakur saw Kobe Bryant, but did he see the future? Imagine if Kobe Bryant was a rapper. He would be in Tupac's lane and they would have competition, which Kobe Bryant did release songs. He was pretty decent at rapping. It just didn't go with his flow. He wasn't gangster enough. I, personally, for me, I thought Kobe was better than Shaq at rapping. Imagine Tupac playing ball. That's much harder to do, a physical sport. Pac was a physical guy. He was very strong. But he could not play ball better than Kobe. Kobe was probably much taller too. Tupac was known to be 5'10", 165 pounds. Kobe Bryant probably weighed a little bit more. Kobe Bryant shook hands with Tupac. They did meet. Who would have known, who'd known three weeks later, Pac would have passed away, tragically, in Las Vegas. Kobe Bryant meeting up with Tupac Shakur. Wow, two legends. Kobe Bryant was on the level of Tupac. He was starting off, Tupac gave his blessings, said, you're in LA, I'm in LA, we're both rep in the West, it's West Side. Tell me what you guys think about the night Kobe Bryant met Tupac at the House of Blues. Are you guys a fan of Kobe or Tupac? This interaction was crazy. Two of the best interacting, two of the great minds, great brains of the universe, of the world, connecting. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Also, share the video for more news. Have a great day and peace out. Wow.